Kitty Coritis. I am back and I'm so happy that you have all returned. I am super excited for this week's uh, eye look. You can tell by the title. We're gonna do a peacock look today with the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat palette. Whatever people might say, it's all up to your preference. I don't care if it's like, you know, if it's like dusty. I don't know the proper term, but if it, it it's like, you know, the, whatever, anyway, I really don't care. As long as it performs, I am all for it. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start on the peacock look. I'm super excited because um, I try to use as much color of the peacock as possible, including like the gold little leafy thing around the, the eyes that they have on the tail and such, so I'm super excited about it. Let's go ahead and start. And as usual, we're gonna go ahead and do the little clippies in her hair because this hair is everywhere, even though I straighten it. So my face is clean as usual before I do my makeup. Let's put this back. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the primer. The one that I always use um, is the Smashbox primer. Let's go ahead and put that on. Just, oh shoot, I forgot how much I use, but it's not a lot, guys. This is actually pretty good. And actually, I didn't know this, but this is the third time I've bought this. I bought this primer, and I just noticed on the box it says "Studio Tip: Try it in your hair to tame the frizzies." So that's cool. A good dupe to this would probably be um, the Angel Veil primer. So tip for you. And you know what time it is? This primer needs to set. Bullet, bullet, pier, right? Cherry, um, bullet, yum, bullet, bullet, pier, right? I've gone ahead and let that primer sit in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm out of breath. We're gonna go ahead and with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in Light Honey. Woo! No! <laughs> Hello darkness my old friend I am such a butterfinger guys like I kid you not We're gonna it's a little pumpy too where you have to like do this And you can put it on your hand Shoot I forgot uh, to dampen my beauty blender I usually use this I'm out of the Smashbox primer water so I just fill this with water so it's easy and accessible for me I will soon get a refill on the Smashbox primer. God. Usually what I do is that I do my eyes first and then that, but it's way too much work for you to work around that eyeshadow that I'm going to go ahead and do, or the look that I'm going to go ahead and do. So we'll do this first. Woo! Because I have two shades. And I remember one of them was too light for me, which is this one, but we're gonna go with it. Then the, my shade would be the light medium sand. Yeah, this is a little, oops, my hair. This way it's not good to work off the, the screen. You know what I like about this foundation is that it gives you time to blend. It doesn't just dry on you. It's like that demi, um, demi matte. So it's pretty cool. I like the finish and it doesn't like advertise like, your your bumps and stuff like that like ew, ew now we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pomade dip brow pomade made pomade pomegranate let's go in with the colored chocolate so then we're gonna open that up we're also gonna go ahead and we're no my brush went into the back of the thing anywho so we're gonna grab the benefit brow angled brow blah 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 it really doesn't have a name really i mean it does but it doesn't have like a number or anything so let's go in Uli. you're gonna need extreme eyebrows for this look guys you can't go soft on this i'm extending these eyebrows you'll see why and as i mentioned in all my videos please ignore the stray hairs right here i'm trying to grow my eyebrow just a little bit more down I just feel like I have too much like here. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows, not really. I'm gonna go ahead in with, hold on. We're gonna go in, 
We're gonna go in with the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer. We're gonna grab our Morphe M421. This is my go-to. Oh my god, it itches. My M421, this is my holy grail brush for concealer. Like, I'm not using anything else. So let's go in to shape our eyebrows. Now my eyebrows are done and I just want to say something that's why I love this foundation is because even though you sweat like you don't see it like the, the foundation is like stop in the name of Jesus do not ow do not show up on this girl's face so that's why I love this this uh this foundation but anyway so I've done my eyebrows I've chiseled them out they are good to go so now let's go ahead and do the rest of our faces. Uh, our faces? What do I have? Two, three, four? No, let's go ahead and do the rest of our face. We're gonna grab the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Honestly, not a day at all. Oh my god, literally, I just get distracted real quick. A little goes along with that's why I don't put a lot. So just, just saying. Okay. Let's go with our nose, just a little bit. Honestly, I don't put a lot because this is lethal, guys. I don't even need to like um, contour my nose sometimes. I'm just like, girl. Like a line that I do here. We dampen a little bit more the sponge, y'all. Then now we grab a little bit of Kat Von D setting powder. This one. We grab a little bit like this. Sorry, I'm not like super ah right now. It's just like the weather's not helping. And yesterday I had a huge. My migraine, I've never had one of those, so like I was asking my friend, what the hell is the difference between a headache and a migraine? Okay, so now that I'm gonna head and set my face with a damp um, beauty blender into the setting powder here, 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 here. Um, let's go in with the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. This is an okay palette. This one. You know, this, the only thing I don't like is that this is not creamy at all. So, I mean, I just ruined a brush. The Sephora Professional. Put this back here. I'm gonna put it upwards because us, you know, people who don't have that natural contour, then, you know, we need it. So now we're going to blend that out. I like to use a beauty blender. Just down, down it, down it, down it. Now we're going with the bronzer. We're going with the, I use this so much. Like I have other bronzers and I'm just like, okay. But it's okay. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer comes in this package here. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Kabuki Brush, the retractable Kabuki Brush. Just like, you know, smash it a little bit down just to get that circular shape. Go in, tap. This side. I kept the setting powder out with this damp sponge. We're going to go ahead and dip that in. See, like that, get our mirror, thank god I found it on the first try, and then just chisel this out. A little bit more. And what I like to do is bring it down. I mean, usually I know this is how dudes do it, but you know, I have no cheekbone, I have a rounder face. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, that's so much better. I opened the blind. I'm gonna do the Milani, uh, the Rose Compacts, the Rom and Romantic Rose. I'm gonna use the Body Shop uh, Blush Brush. I got this a long time ago and I ain't <coughs> replacing that. It's very quiet. 
but it's like this deep color, which is nice. What I'm gonna do is grab my Morphe Y6, my Morphe Y6 brush here, this one, and then just thin out here. Girl, Lord Jesus, I'm gonna blind some people today. Just a little. Okay, so we're gonna dust this off. And I like the, the Wet n Wild brushes because as a little thing you put, put your thumb, that's cute. Dust it off. Dust this off. Okay, let's start with the eyes and this is gonna be really different from what I usually do because you know I'm always talking blah 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 going step by step I'm gonna speed this up because this takes a while Not to scare you guys off from doing this look. I hope you recreate this look and send me some stuff if you make it better I'll, I'll do it and Life will be great. So I'm gonna speed it up and let's go
guys, so that is the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I know I, I'm not gonna do this side because there's no way I'm going out like this. I mean, I could, but then I'd be like, ah! Well, how do peacocks even do it? I don't even know. I just try mimicking like the um, the peacock tail at the end to where they have like little feathers with like black stuff on it. So see that super tiny line? I'm all about the details, so comment on it, like it, whatever. So yeah, I'm not gonna do the next, the next, the other eye, just cause I'm gonna do a more subtle look for today because I'm going out with my sister today. We're gonna have some, we're gonna do some stuff. So I can't be looking out like this, like, hey, Egyptian God is here, or maybe I can. You guys tell me. I know the picture was, it's not too different from what I posted on Instagram. This is the second try. Um, I did it this time more lower and I was like, darn it, why did I do it lower? I have like this, the hooded lid, so why didn't I do it higher? But the one on, for all my fat little girls, the one on Instagram and um, Twitter, it is a little bit higher for us uh, fat little girls. Yeah, I was like, oh shoot, I'm not doing this all over again, I said to myself. That's all for today. I hope you like this look, so you'll be get a better look at it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, the picture that I posted on social media on Facebook, well, I haven't announced my Facebook yet, but I posted it on Twitter and Instagram. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to go ahead and post it on my Snapchat. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And any, if you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe if you liked it, and comment down below. All the products that I use today on my face will be listed down below. So thank you so much for watching. I love you. And most importantly, he loves you too. Bye!